Hey guys, um, so I just wanted to do a quick intro because I was filming some vlog footage last week of some of my decluttering for this 1000 item purge thing that I'm doing, this big project that I'm doing, and I realized that I had some really good footage, but it was like 10 minutes of footage, and if I add a more decluttering footage to this, it's gonna be like an hour long video, so I was like, ugh. I know I just told you guys I wasn't gonna update on you guys, update you on this project until I got to 500 items and I'm not there yet. I am over 200 now, which I'm happy about, but not quite there yet, but I thought I would do a bonus video. So this is going to be a bonus vlog that is going up um, today. I just wanted to film this quick intro and then I'm gonna throw this video up for you guys as a bonus. I did already post a video earlier today, but um, for those of you who, who were wanting more updates, I thought you might enjoy this. So today's video that you're about to watch is just the other day, a couple days ago, I cleaned out my closet. And so um, I kind of showed you guys the process of cleaning it out, some of the stuff that I was getting rid of. And then there's also a giveaway in here for you guys as well, because I had all of my extra giveaway stuff like stored in there. And I kind of like rearranged how I had that, which you're gonna see in a second. And while I was doing it, I was like, let's do a giveaway. So there's also a giveaway as part of this video. Video as well but um, for yeah for those of you who are wanting some more like updates and to actually see kind of the process of me doing this declutter um, hopefully you enjoy this video if you do like it make sure you give it a thumbs up maybe I'll do some some more some more surprise vlog style um, updates on this project as I go but yeah I hope you guys enjoy it and I will see you guys in my next video bye guys all right guys, so I am getting serious now. I'm standing inside my uh, makeshift walk-in closet. It's not a real walk-in closet, but anyways, I'm standing inside of it right now because um, I got all of the stuff that's like easy to declutter and now I think I'm gonna go area by area and I wanted to start in my closet because there's so much crap in here I don't need. I just kind of shoved stuff in here when we were moving in, like anything I didn't know where it went went in here. So um, I wanna get rid of all the crap I don't use and organize the stuff that's in here that I actually do need to save. Like I have some photo albums and things, but it's just not, it's not organized. It's like haphazardly stuck in here. So anyways, I thought I would let you guys know what I'm doing and I'll show you what it looks like after. You guys saw the before already, so. All right, you guys. So I just uh, went through half of my closet. I'm gonna take a break now because I'm exhausted so um, but I did go through half of my closet and I found like a bag and a box that I just threw in there that I hadn't even unpacked so it had all kinds of random stuff um, but all this stuff that I have laid out on the floor here um, this is stuff that I am getting rid of and I just finished counting it it is a total of 37 items and as you can see it's a little bit of everything so yeah these 37 items are going to be uh, mostly going to Goodwill. I have a couple um, pairs of shoes and swimsuits over here that I'm going to try selling on my Poshmark. But other than that, this is all on its way out. I'm so excited. Hey guys, so I'm having a no makeup day. <laughs> As you can see in the lighting in here, is not flattering. But um, I wanted to show you what I'm doing because I'm still working in my closet. I did about half of it yesterday and then I got tired and I was like, okay, I'm going to put it, the rest aside. So um, I have that side of my closet pretty much done. I'll show you guys in a, in a second. Um, but I came over here to this side of the closet where I had that giant pile of Poshmark stuff because I'm going to actually package those items up. Um, I watched another girl who does Poshmark like full time talk about how she individually bags all the items that she has on Poshmark. I think I'm going to do that so that I can store it in the garage and not have to worry about, you know, like it getting dirty or bugs in there or whatever. So I'm going to do that. Um, but in the meantime, because I want this part of my closet clear. I don't like having a giant pile of Poshmark stuff in there. It makes it feel cluttered. But I also had this. This is what I want to show you guys. I'm going to turn the camera so I can show you what I'm talking about. So this is that CoverGirl like PR package I had showed you guys. I wanted to keep it because I was like, oh, it's so cute and all of the storage and stuff. But honestly, it's taking up so much room and what I can actually store in here based on um, what actually fits in here and how much space it takes up, it doesn't make sense to keep it. So what I've been doing is I had all of my giveaway stuff stored in here, not all of it, because I actually have a drawer in my Alex and I drawers that has giveaway stuff too, but I've been emptying all the products from in here into this box, and um, there is so much, you guys. Like, I didn't even realize how much I've been saving up for giveaways. What happens is I'll either get, like, okay, a lot of this, I'll show you underneath here. 
Um, a lot of this is stuff that I got like in PR and stuff that I just wasn't going to use. So I'd set it aside for a giveaway. So that's what a lot of this was. Um, and then under here, there's a bunch of CoverGirl stuff because they sent me so much. I set a ton of it aside for you guys for giveaways. So a lot of it is PR. And then also a lot of it is like this. Um, I got this from TJ Maxx. I pick up extra stuff at TJ Maxx when I find it for you guys. Um, these I got on sale at Sephora for you guys. Um, BoxyCharm stuff. If I get stuff in BoxyCharms that I'm not interested in trying, I set it aside for here. So that's mostly what's going on. It's like a bunch of random stuff that I, I save up because I can't like afford to go out and spend like $500 on giveaway stuff when I do a giveaway. I just pick up stuff as I go and then I do giveaways randomly and that's how I'm able to do so many. And I, like I said, a lot of it's PR too that I try to share with you guys when I can. So that all being said, I have way too much right now. So I need to plan some more giveaways. I feel like I've been doing quite a few giveaways, but I clearly could do a bunch more. So I have a giveaway playlist. Anytime I have a video that I post that includes a giveaway, um, there's a playlist for that. So I'll link that above, but let's do a giveaway right now in this video. So what should I do the giveaway for? I have all this stuff. Let's do this because I don't think I can, well, I could probably fit in the box, but um, we'll do a giveaway for this item and um, something not skincare. What do you guys want for this giveaway? I wish you could talk to me. Um, do you want this blush? Let's do it. Let's do the blush. And one more thing. I don't know. A hair thing? Let's do this. Bumble and Bumble Pret a Volume. I still feel like one more thing. This brush. Yes. Okay. There we go. This giveaway right here, the link will be in the description box. Go to that link that says gleam.io and all the rules will be there, but please enter because um, yeah, I wanna share all this stuff with, I buy this stuff and I accumulate this stuff and hold on to it for the sole purpose of giving it to you guys. So I need to do that more often. So enter that giveaway, but I'm gonna get back to work now. Oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> I am so excited. I can't even tell you how excited I am that my closet looks like this. I feel like this is the way it should have been when I moved in and I just kind of shoved a bunch of stuff in here that didn't belong. So I have to show you because I'm so excited. Okay, so this section where all of that Poshmark stuff and the giveaway stuff that just didn't need to be stored there, there's other places I can keep that. I put all my little booties here and the rest of my shoes for the most part fit now on this shoe rack that I have back here. There's just a couple pairs in front, but I don't mind that. I might end up purging a couple more pairs so that I can keep it all um, contained into that area, but I feel really good about that. Okay, and then I have, you know, this little clothing rack I showed you guys that I installed with some boots on it, and then I have the rest of my clothes here, which I probably will go through and purge some of these later. Um, I just did not feel like doing that today to be in the mood for a clothing purge. And then I moved the blankets that were up here, so all the blankets are in one place now, so I just have that bin of clothing is actually um, clothes that I saved from Aubrey that will be going to Kira when Kira grows into them. I'm just not ready for those yet. So I think I only have like two bins of kids clothes left saved. Most of them I've pulled out and sorted through when the kids are either wearing them or I've gotten rid of them. So I don't have a ton of that stuff anymore. Um, but yeah, that's this side. I'll show you the other side. Okay, so now that giant pile of, cl of clutter that was right here on the plot, uh, if I can talk, the giant pile of clutter that was on the floor is now gone. So I can actually walk into here now. It's kind of a weird closet, but that's okay. Um, and then my purse, um, my purses are still hanging here, which I think is a great place for them. Um, I did get rid of one purse, but I pretty much use the rest of these. So I think I'm gonna keep all of them. The only one I'm thinking about getting rid of is this Michael Kors tote. I might end up decluttering that, but I'm not sure yet. I kind of like using it when I travel. Um, this is brand new. We just got, my daughters and I each got one of these, um, Disney lounge flight backpacks for an upcoming Disney trip, which I'm really excited about. But anyway, so that's where all the pur purses are. And then over here, um, I'll start on this side cause the lighting's better over here. Um, on the bottom I have that bin is all memorabilia and eventually I might move that somewhere else, but that basket is containing it pretty well right now. It's like my kids art and um, old yearbooks and stuff like that. So that's gonna stay. This basket here has my extra camera equipment, like my travel case when I travel with my camera, batteries, stuff like that. So that can stay there. And then the basket on the end there has some um, like shipping materials. So um, then I have a foot bath, which the kids and I like to use that sometimes 
all of their art supplies, I don't have space for this anywhere else. So I feel like they're pretty well contained there and when they need like crayons, I can just grab a bin. So that's fine for now. Um, and then I have bath bombs over there. Um, by the way, those are from Life Around Zane, or <laughs> I always want to say just Angels. Life Around Two Angels. Um, those are the best bath bombs ever. I'll link them down below from Amazon. All right, and then all of my totes I just kind of shoved here on um, this shelf for now. I use those when we um, do like overnight travels and stuff like that. Um, this container has my extra Invisalign stuff. And then I have like my Epsom salts and stuff like that. So anyways, it's very, very organized. And then this row is basically all towels now. Instead of having towels on three different shelves, it's all on one shelf. Except the only thing that's not towels is this um, box, which I just showed you guys, that is <laughs> completely full, completely full of giveaway stuff. And then the next shelf is all the extra blankets. So that's what that shelf looks like. I have so many of these because my mom makes a quilt for each of my kids um, when they're born. So a lot of these have memories. And then this one came home from the hospital with us for Kira. So these I will never get rid of. Um, my kids might want them when they grow up, but for now I'm gonna save those. And then up here is all my photos. So those are boxes full of pictures and then I have all the photo albums. And that's it, you guys, like it's so organized. I'll show you from the other view real quick, but I feel like this is so much better organized. It's mostly all the same stuff that I had in here. I did pull out a few things to get rid of, but it was like there were some, some towels on this shelf, towels on that shelf, towels on that shelf. Like it just didn't make sense. So now it's all, all organized and I feel so good about it. <laughs> All right guys, so I have another pile here that I need to count up real quick so that I can load this stuff up. So um, I just thought I would share that with you guys real quick. So I'm gonna count these separate, I think. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight of these, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 18, so total of 18 items. Um, yeah, so this pile here and then that bag full of stuff, I haven't counted it yet because um, I was still adding to it, but I'll, I'll tally it up. So I did tally it up. Um, it was 29 items in that pile. I already pulled out the stuff for Poshmark and this stuff is being added to my Goodwill stack. All right, I thought I would show you guys. I have another 18 items here to add to my declutter pile. So um, I, I had my kids go through their rooms and find some things they didn't want to. So yeah, 18 more items. We're gonna actually be heading to the mall today to go to Chuck E. Cheese. So I'm gonna drop all this stuff off and add it to the other stuff I already have loaded in my car and get rid of another pile of stuff. So I'm really excited. Mm -hmm.